Hey everyone, welcome to another uh, episode of That's All Funny, episode number 560. Yeah, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Uh, what I do today, uh, nothing really. I don't remember doing anything today. Just chilled. Uh, really did like more yesterday or last night. Today I just fucking slept. Oh, I went to the store. Did. <laughs> Shopped for a little bit. I bought some Sudafed, like some, uh, you know, maybe that'll get me pumped up. Kind of shit that they outlawed from fucking Olympics. It's like, you, you know, whenever it makes you breathe better and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my Baird voice from Gears of War when he active reloads. Oh, yeah. And then uh, the Theron guard, whenever you active reload, it'd be like, Save Queen or some shit like that. Uh very timely references, Gears of War. I love Gears of War though. I do. The first at least the first two and the remake. I don't know about the rest of them, but I'll play through them eventually. There's a lot of shit I gotta play through. Um speaking of playthroughs, I'll be playing some games all weekend. Uh no, and then I'm gonna record for the wrestling podcast tomorrow, and then I got a lot of schoolwork to do. And then it's uh, Easter, right? I think it's Easter. I don't know. It might apparently it's Trans Visibility Day. They're very conflicting holidays. Uh, I mean, if you want to call them right, uh, they're both kind of just made up bullshit. You know, Easter is just as made up as fucking the trans holiday. But who? I don't know. Whatever, whatever side you're on, pick pick a side. You can't have both. You know. But uh, we get into that. Let me see if I have it pulled up here. So. Joe Biden sparks fury by touting transgender visibility day on Easter. And, and look at him. God, he looks so weird. Like he's just he looks like his eyes were built for the the eclipse. Like he's got those Eskimo sunglasses eyes, you know, the little square eyes. He's always squinty. Oh Biden. Come on, Brandon, you squinty piece of shit. <laughs> they they really do need to tie you up in the back of a truck and kidnap you, <laughs> you frail son of a bitch. No, nah, I don't know. Whatever. I was, I was just fucking with you. Whatever. Ah, no. Nah. So President Joe Biden sparked fury among conservatives on social media on Saturday after he proclaimed Sunday, March 31st, which happens to be the day Easter falls on this year, Transgender Day of Visibility. The International Transgender Day of Visibility was created on March 31st, 2009. And has continued to be celebrated every March 31st for more than a decade. This day is meant to not only honor transgender people, but raise awareness of the discrimination they continue to face. And you know, I have nothing against people, like particular, like specific people, but the only gay dude I really like think matters is that one dude that like, got beat up and thrown on barbed wire years ago that, w- that we were always like told about on MTV. And even that dude has problems, right? Whatever. He probably hated himself. We all do. But, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like Joe Biden's doing this just to start a little tiny civil war. Well, not a tiny one. It's a pretty big deal. Right. But a war between your, uh, Christian traditional people which is quite a bit of americans and then your transgender woke agenda uh hermaphrodite people right um the trans trannies right so he's trying to start a war between them so he can keep doing his shady shit like i'm gonna keep letting these uh i'm gonna let them go to war while i bring in migrants through the border or while i let china you know uh, make different outposts here in in the states and uh, s- quietly sell them land, or while I keep giving, um, you know, funneling money to to my son or to fucking uh, my my baby boy Zelensky, my little my little uh, my little Ukrainian nugget. Uh, but yeah, I feel like Biden's just doing this to fuck with us, <laughs> like literally, like. He's, he's just trying to start a war, a uh, civil war between us, the people, while it lets the government do whatever the fuck they want. It, it's it's until uh, as old as time. I think so. Like, 
I don't care about Easter. I don't care about trans days. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Um, you know, eat your meat. Um, fucking uh, uh, people don't even know the meaning of Easter anymore and what it is. What is it like? It is what it is. Now, what is it like? Uh, Jesus rose on this day or some bullshit like that? And it has nothing to do with Easter and eggs and uh, people uh, identifying as rabbits or whatever the fuck you want to go. But whatever, Bi Biden is going to just do these things and not care about the consequences because he wants that leftist vote. But he's going to lose out on his traditional Christian voters, which are probably quite a bit, right? Majority of them are Republican, but I'm sure they're on the Democrat side as well. But then he's got all those migrants coming in, so they're just going to vote for him. Or they're they're getting those $600 credit cards with the free uh, cell phones and the boots with the fur to, uh, you know, win him the election again. A 80 million votes, six stars. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of Zelensky... Uh, his little Ukrainian nugget. Zelensky fires more aids in a reshuffle as Russia launches drones and missiles across Ukraine. And I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's just losing his mind. But uh, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky dismissed a longtime aide and several advisors on Saturday in a continuing reshuffle with Russia unleashed fresh attacks overnight. So he's like getting rid of all of his closest confidants and... This could be for a few reasons. It says he's letting go three advisors, two presidential representatives, uh, and seven maids of milk in, five golden trees. Uh, I don't know. He's letting go of a lot of people, and I don't know if he can not trust them, or he's getting paranoid, or he's trying to just, like, say, I'm all alone, please, Biden, send me more monies. Oh, I'm a Ukrainian, oh, or whatever his accent is. And uh, you're the only one for me, Biden. Um, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what his. I think he's at his like wit's end because he's not important anymore. To <laughs> he, he fucked up. Is what you fucked up. You fucked up with this whole, uh, you know, quote unquote alleged ISIS attack. But they were gonna let them go through Ukraine to uh, escape. And that didn't really work out. So yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It, it's it's getting interesting because obviously Biden has a lot more things to worry about right now than wars because he's trying to win this election. Uh, so it's interesting that like Zelensky's trying to get his attention and he probably is just getting left on red or getting his phone calls ignored. I, I hate to talk a lot about politics but that's all that's really the news here here's some more tim Wahlberg says gaza should be dealt with like nagasaki and hiroshima and i don't know who this dude is oh here we go U u.s representative for michigan till wall tim Wahlberg gained negative ten attention on x formerly twitter because we still all call it twitter for a video posted on friday night where he said gaza should be treated like nagasaki and hiroshima in attempt to get it over quick and <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one way to do it, but you know, uh, it's not. There's a whole. That's kind of. I mean, that's a whole other story on why they did that because the Japanese weren't gonna fucking stop no matter what. I mean, they would fucking send their own people kamikaze and shit. So yeah, they weren't gonna stop for shit. So that that's a whole another thing. Um, I don't know. I I, I don't see what this dude gets out of stopping the war he probably makes more money when there's wars going on so um mm, I, i'm not i'm not even for uh nuclear bombs like i feel like that's cheating you know when you'd play call of duty and the dude who would get like 15 kills in a row would get the nuke and they would just win a bunch of bullshit i think it's cheating um although you know you, yeah you got your biochemical warfare that may be even worse but uh, I don't know. Nuclear bombs are just cheating. And, and once you start going that route, uh, you get all your uh, Rage Against the Machine, your System of a Down, uh, all those bands that come out and say how wrong it is to uh, fight the wars and why do you always send the poor and uh, where uh, 
Where will you be when the bombs fall? Ha 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 ha. Where do you expect us to go when the bombs fall? Ha 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 Where do you expect us to go when the bombs fall? Good album. Very good album. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't want to deal with it that way. Uh Let's just let them fight. <laughs> let them fight. Uh, here's more president stuff, right? Beyonce's cowboy Carter gets love from Vice President Kamala Harris. I want to say who gives a shit what Kamala Harris thinks, one, because she's the vice president. No one gives a shit what the vice president thinks, right? Like, even when, when Joe Biden was president, vice president with Obama, no one gave a shit what he thought. <laughs> He's even president now. No one gives a shit what he thinks. Barely, right? But it's like you got all these other things to worry about with wars and nuclear, whatever, and Russia and Gaza and the civil wars here with the trans and the woke and the blacks and the Chinese and the New Yorkers and fucking uh, whatever else. Uh, uh, libs of TikTok, uh, fucking. Uh, pr all the predator catchers you got all these wars going on right and here you are saying i think beyonce did a great job on her album <laughs> okay yeah that's good glad glad you can fucking give us that two thumbs up um she's saying it feel honored to be the first uh what did she say five years in the making harris county she's saying something about like, I'm glad that she's bringing country music black from its black roots. And I'm like, I don't know. Everything has roots everywhere, you know? That's why they're called roots. Uh, not necessarily the black TV series roots, right? But, uh, I mean, blues was, you know, done by a lot of black people. Rock and roll was done by a lot of black people. And then you go into Mexicans and they did rock and roll. I don't know, dude. Like, everything has roots. You can't just say, oh, uh, I want to thank you for reminding everyone that uh, country music has its black roots, blah, blah. Do you know she just did this for, like, a cash grab? Because she's already number one, uh, Beyonce, that is, and all the other fucking things. So she might as well go number one in country and fuck with that algorithm over there when they're already trying to do their best country stars and now... They got to compete with uh, the Queen Beyonce until uh, P. Diddy's ass fucking starts singing like a canary uh, about all the things uh, her and Jay-Z have done. But I'm sure he's going to get Epstein. Uh, that's going to happen. Like gar guaranteed that that's going to happen because he's a bad boy for life. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Because we're bad boys for life. I'll listen to it eventually. And I got a lot of other things I need to do. Not just uh, listen to Cowboy Carter. Oh, it's not even a good name. Lastly here. And more uh, political stuff. IMF confirms increasing Egypt's bailout loan to $8 billion. And uh, the International Monetary Fund confirmed a deal with Egypt to increase its bailout loan from $3 billion to $8 billion. And a move that is meant to shore up the Arab country's economy, which is hit by a staggering shortage of foreign currency and soaring inflation. And I mean, I'm I'm cool with this because, dude, we're over here printing money like it's <clears throat> fucking dollar off coupons. You know, like we're we're giving literally billions to Ukraine. We just gave sixty million to Baltimore for that bridge. When they were supposed to fix it, and then it breaks apart, and it's like, oh, here you go, here's money to fix it, even though it's already broken now, right? Um, we're, we're I don't know, like we're giving money to everyone but the people who really should deserve it, you know? And here's Egypt, like, hey, here's a loan, or the the International Monetary Fund, right? Here's a loan to Egypt for eight billion. Get yourself out of whatever, and then pay us back, you know? <laughs> like that kind of like. Yeah, eight billion sounds like a lot, but it's not really a lot when you think of all the fucking money that um, 
you know, the U.S. has fucking shoved down everyone's throats for everything uh, to fix things, you know, whether it's Gaza, Israel, uh, the trans community, the black community uh, during COVID. Uh, oh, we got those $600 checks. whoop de doo uh, the my the migrants that are coming here that are getting all the money and shit, uh, fucking I don't know. There, there's so much money just being thrown around everywhere, literally billions that this doesn't really like matter. I think you know, and then like you got the pyramids on the money, so they should get a little bit of a cut of it, you know, with the eye, the eye of the pyramid, whatever. Not that one song by um. Who sang "I of the Tiger"? I never, I, I can never remember who the band is. I know the song. I don't know the band. It's a fun song to to play on rock band, but um, I don't know. That's that's all. Uh, that's all funny, guys. Yeah, that's that's the way we. Uh, I want to thank you for listening to the podcast. That's all funny. To the point where podcast we we'll just search. That's all funny. A podcast coming out with my buddy Gabe. Uh, it's already out. It comes out every Monday. It's called That's All Kayfabe, where we talk about wrestling and, you know, stuff of that nature. Check it out. Uh, That's All Kayfabe. Anywhere podcasts are available, just search for it. That's All Kayfabe. If you want to see video versions of it, uh, this podcast, that podcast, and all the other stuff we do, check out uh, That's uh, That's All Funny on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Lorenzo Ariola. Do videos of the podcast. Uh, gaming, other stuff, as well as a uh, live show I do with the great mint salad called Tits and Ariolas. That shows uh, Tuesdays at 8 o'clock p.m. Central, 9 o'clock Eastern on YouTube and Twitter, where we talk about a movie we watch and then play a game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to support this podcast uh, more, check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash Lorenzo Ariola. A $5 a month gets you everything, uh, early episodes, bonus episodes, stuff like that. Or if you want to check out uh, merch, check out the website, www.retrohorrorinc.com. we got stickers, prints, t-shirts, or if you want to commission some great art from a great artist, this is all the art for the show, at Retro Horror Inc. on Instagram, at Retro Horror Inc. on Twitter. I'm at Lorenzo Ariola on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you to my Patreon members. Like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.